the mess Drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest She'll be learning how to breathe Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme Save her mind Hold her hand And don't believe a lie You understand me Walk her down the valley Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach Like the angels do And you gon' make it through now Tell about the healer Greater is the one within a column as the leader Teach her how to hold her pretty hand up to the sky And I'ma wait up on the giver He'll deliver like a dealer Take her higher Higher Fly out the valley and the fire Take her feet for running show her every door and how the windows let the sun in copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming even in the fever baby cry and get to running and tell her that you better get your bootstraps up you're with the army ready when the truth act up nothing can harm me yelling from the roof i touch put up a guard and count to ten lion's den speaking with the higher pen can't be touched by fire then. fast forward to the grown things now I'm working on them soul things now Forgiving all your old ways But it's harder on the cold days Cold days Never been a product of a flawless environment Never acted like I'm higher than You, 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 you Hey Battle Bays, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea. It is a little later in the day from the previous clips that you guys saw. Just to catch you up, I didn't do much at all. I just got up, got a little, you know, freshened up a little bit. I went to the grocery store, I grabbed some groceries, and then I was sitting here. I finished up editing my, um, what is it? My 24, 2024 goals video and started editing a little bit more. And then I've been cleaning because I want this pace spotless. Yeah. It's bad enough I stutter, so why am I eating candy trying to talk at the same time? It don't make sense to me. That's besides the point. Um, I want this place spotless or very, very, very clean before the New Year's hit. So I just been around the house just doing nothing really. It's been very enjoyable. I tried to take a nap, but seeing how I just have way too many things to do, my mind wouldn't quiet down so I can take a nap, but I'm feeling fine. I'm not tired or anything. Sam begs to differ because she over there acting like she worked a whole 12 to 16 hour shift. Sam! <laughs> um, what else am I about to do? So right now, I just finished scrubbing the kitchen. You probably hear the dishwasher going right now. I'm moving on into the living room. So I just finished like getting up some junk and stuff like that. And what I want to do, I'm about to vacuum and then start finish cleaning the couch so this little machine over here that tray wait right there <laughs> that tray ball for me i'm about to use that and finish cleaning the couch he started when he was here um like a week or so ago and i'm gonna go ahead and finish i was supposed to have been used this thing to clean my car but y'all i'm being so lazy and i didn't do it yet but for sure 100 percent for sure i'm going to be doing it tomorrow because i kind of want my car clean before I go back to work. Um, I've been off work for like two, it feels like three weeks, but I've been off work for a little over two weeks now um, because that's just how I took my leave. I broke everything down, but I go back on the third. That way I can go ahead and check my schedule and see like when I'm working because I'm supposed to be going to a Monday through Friday schedule at work. I'm not looking forward to that. I'm only doing that because I'm supposed to be getting Mia back soon. So just to accommodate me with daycare and stuff like that, they decided to put me to a Monday through Friday schedule. So I don't know why that's so disappointing to me. I personally like my 12 hour shifts. That's just me. I like I like to get my three twelves out of the way and just be done with it. My three twelves, my two twelve, whatever the case may be, I like to be done with it because I like off days within the week. So going to this schedule is 
kind of disappointing and I'm and I'm thinking I'm going ugh. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and stick with that schedule until Trey gets here and try to go back to um my 12 hour shifts so we'll see we'll, we'll we'll see how soon that happens how everything goes and to be completely honest i'm still trying to figure out nail down exactly when i'm gonna go get mia because y'all gotta remember she is in the middle of the school year um i do want to go get her throughout the sometime in the month of january but then i'm thinking um no actually i was going to get her in january but the family is going to be in florida they want to go on a vacation in florida in the early early february so because of that i'm going to let her stay throughout january that way she can go to on a trip with them and me and trey are going to meet the family out there in florida and then i was thinking okay it's only it will only be like a few months before the end of the school year so i haven't even spoke to my auntie about this yet but i might just go ahead and see if they are okay with keeping her until the end of her school year that way she's not transitioning like towards the end or right in the middle of the school year that would be perfect i don't i would hate to do that to her and that would honestly give me enough time to work um because as y'all know i'm looking for my agencies i'm looking for a second job to work and everything on top of being in the army and that would give me the free time to do that and with the way i've been feeling lately i feel like i have the energy to do so so i'm hoping that's a good sign that good things are coming and i'm ready for it with that y'all i'm so excited are y'all excited i'm so excited i haven't been excited for a new year and i don't know how long but i'm feeling i'm feeling hopeful like i'm feeling so hopeful i feel like i just feel it in my spirit that there's so many good things about to come out of this year even though i'm not really planning anything like i said before this is a foundational year for me but i feel like honestly it's just with the plans and the goals and stuff that I have. It's just the weight that's about to be lifted off my shoulders. Slowly but surely, piece by piece, pound by pound throughout the year is about to just be life changing for me. And I'm so excited. And this is the first vlog of the new year. This is the first vlog of 2024. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. But let me stop playing because I'm gonna get on here and start ranting and start wasting time. And I got a lot of couch to clean i'm not cleaning the whole thing tonight but i'm gonna clean most of it this is something that we have to start off in sections like you gotta you gotta do something like this in sections so let me get back to it oh i'm watching demon slayer again y'all and i've watched this so many times the last few episodes i haven't seen in the second season this is hulu why is this still making me cry I do not understand why this anime is still making me cry, but it is. I rewatched Akame Got Kill. Um, Akame Got Kill yesterday. I completely binged that. I watched that again yesterday. Again, making me cry. Like, uh, anime writers, who hurt y'all? <laughs> who hurt you? I think after this, I'm going to watch um, A Lie in April. I think that's what I'm gonna watch next. Uh, uh. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. Let me go, let me go, let me go. Yeah, I still got that! Stay away from me! I don't wanna turn into one of those things! Get a hold of yourself! Stop crying and running away! Doing that isn't going to get you anywhere! Hey y'all, what's up? It's a little bit later. And obviously you see I'm sitting here, I'm just chilling. Um, winning through my robe on, but yeah i'm pretty much done doing the things that i wanted to do for tonight i'm just waiting for the new year to come at this point just really sitting here relaxing trying to figure out what i feel like doing i was looking through a lot of my old footage and stuff on my phone to see what i'm able to turn into some reels tiktoks or whatever the case may be because i just have too much stuff in my phone i have a lot of stuff in my phone that i just need to take out and it's like pointless stuff but the thing is it's still there because it's it's pointless but they're cute things and i don't want to just get rid of it so i'm trying to see what i can turn into reels and what can just be tossed so that's what i'm sitting here doing so i have a few reels oh y'all i'm sorry i'm sitting here drinking my Canada dry eating some leftovers y'all made some steak I made some steak uh last night some medium rare steak 
so I had to make sure I didn't overdo it to overcook it today but this is leftovers actually I have a bunch of leftovers why did I cook so much last night but this is so freaking good it's so good so that's dinner for tonight with my Canada dry y'all they have cranberry Canada dry and I grabbed some today I was so excited when I saw it because I'd be looking for the blueberry one but I haven't found the canned blueberry one yet but when I saw the um not the canned blueberry one but when I saw the cranberry in the can I was like yes I gotta get those two anyway so I have a bunch of I was sitting here making some reels out of the footage and stuff that's already in my phone so i have some drafts just sitting in there waiting to be posted so yeah follow me on instagram if you want to see those i finished cleaning this thing i'm gonna be completely honest do i really feel like cleaning the rest of this couch i don't that thing is a lot of work and then constantly having to refill it and stuff like that it's just a lot of work i'm gonna do it just like I'm gonna do my car, even though I don't feel like it. I'm gonna do it, but I don't want to. Y'all, so I'm FaceTiming Trey, right? Say hi to our vlog. What up, vlog? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I just called him, right? Cause it's about to be New Year's. Y'all, I'm drinking a Not Your Father's. Now all of a sudden he wanna get one. What you talking about? And y'all see me with this robe one, right? <laughs> Why he got on his robe? He want to be like me so bad. Cheers, babe. Delicious cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Sam farted. Oh! Ew, what? You know what? Don't get back on this couch. Don't get back on this couch. I think I might end up going. I don't know. I'm so torn about this whole car thing. Because a part of me, like, I want to upgrade my car, right? If I can't, I don't. It's it's fine. But I want to. The, um, the Rogue. I know they can do it, but since they want to be stubborn, and I'm not going, I'm like, I just want to break even. It's but I did that right. Like the car, I I literally went in there and I said I want this car. I want this color interior because the thing is if it's not going to be exactly what I want I don't want it like how do we want to manage the accounts though that that's the part that I'm trying to figure out are we going to be using the joint account to like have the bills and stuff come out of uh, so I mean the savings account needs to be savings and then the check-in to be what the bills come out of it seven thousand dollars and thousand dollars Plus a little extra, so like it's like what, like eighty five hundred yeah. to go in every month, theoretically speaking, mm -hmm. and then they'll just like that extra fifteen hundred would just sit in there and pile up, pile up, pile up while the bills are getting paid, the other money, and then that will like save money in the checking, but then like obviously I save as accountant. Yeah, I want those to go into since I will only be working six months out of the year. I still wanna have that consistent like money coming in like we're actually, you know, still working, used to getting a paycheck. Have that money go into our joint account, but then pay us from the joint account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense? So, yeah, so it goes to the joint account and it on and deposit. Then, yeah, exactly. So we, still, so we still have something coming into our individual accounts mm -hmm. on the 1st and the 15th, but Everything first is is getting distributed from our joint yeah. account. So you like that? Yes. Yeah, that way, everything is kind of automated, and then we'll just, you know, check in monthly with it and see what everything is doing. Gotta go shoot outside now. I'll be back. Oh god. <laughs> Show them what you just did. Oh, I'm about to go shoot outside. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> 
They've been setting off fireworks. <laughs> fireworks buzzing my hand right now. It's like, boop, 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 Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's like, what? What's that? It's 2024. I gotta work out today so I don't get the fat man's curse. Oh yeah. Gotta work out today. That's all, all the new year needs. <laughs> if you can't go into 2024, it's not working out. Let's say you the fat man's curse. I worked out in a different way. I worked out in an alternative way. Uh, you gotta get it in. Huh? I gotta get it in. Ugh. Me too. Come here. My hair getting all tangled. Jeez. Just put this on there like this. Anyway. Hey y'all, what's up? It is the next day. Um, It's New Year's. It is the New Year. Happy New Year's, everybody. I'm pretty sure I already said that at this point, but it's New Year's and um, yeah, I never came back last night. I was on the phone with Trey until well after midnight. It was like one o'clock in the morning when I got off the phone with him. After that, I was still just sitting there researching, you know, cleaning just a little, just doing random stuff, y'all. When I don't have to work, I be up all night. I'm talking all throughout the night. It's crazy because I will get to sleep at three, four o'clock in the morning and still end up getting up at like seven. This is what I mean by I need to work on my sleep. But, um, yeah, it is 1 o'clock. It's 13.07. So, 1.07 in the afternoon. And, y'all, I just finished premiering my 2024 goals video with you guys. So, for the ones that came in and was participating in the chat and was just having a good time, the ones that stayed and watched, it, um, watched the video in its entirety, for everybody that was sending me messages and stuff on um, Instagram, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much because first of all, I don't really do stuff live. I don't really go live. I feel like when it comes to social media, I don't have issues with anxiety and stuff like that on social media. For whatever reason, for whatever reason, I like in person and like when it comes to live stuff and I just hate it I just hate it so much like I haven't done an interview or I haven't accepted an interview in like two years ever since my anxiety got bad because if you guys been rocking with me for the past like I don't know like four or five years I've been like doing this whole little social media thing especially over on Instagram I used to do lives and I used to be on interviews with people and uh, guests on podcasts yeah I don't do anything what happened so when i when i thought to premiere it i'm like hmm it said something about you can like you got 
like my followers and stuff like that like me and you guys can watch it together and you know live chat and stuff like that and i'm like oh shoot do i want to do that do i want to do something live like that i was so nervous like i was sweating bullets it was crazy i had to have i threw it away i had to sit here with a freaking um paper towel because i kept sweating it was like dripping it was oh my god it was so bad but i really appreciate you guys because you made it super easy it was almost as if it was like just a little group chat it's cringy watching yourself on a video either way it goes um but you guys really responded great to the video and i really really i really appreciate that a lot so thank you so much for that now i'm low-key kind of tired because again i got like four or five hours of sleep three four hours of sleep last night and i just sat here doing this video and just you know just doing other little things i cannot believe i'm actually starting to find my my enjoyment out of social media again it is it isn't even the idea of like social media is just being able to be creative and giving myself the opportunity to be the main character in something people always try to say oh they think they're the main character when you make content this is main character syndrome this is main character syndrome when you're making content based off your lens and how you see things um it, i'm sorry but aren't you supposed to be the main character what's the problem like i don't see the problem at all but i'm going to talk about that a little bit more probably in a few weeks in like a chit chat because i yeah i want to talk about that i want to talk about the whole main character syndrome and stuff like that but anyway 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 um i'm about to go ahead and attempt to take a nap i don't know if it's going to work out we all know how i am with naps if i'm in my car it is so easy for me to take a nap i'd be gone knocked out real quick but when i'm in a house and if I'm looking around too much and I see something to do, well, there goes that nap because now I can't focus. I hear the kids outside playing on the trampoline. So I'm probably about to end up getting up and cleaning something. And it's just, it's just a mess. I do plan on going outside at some point today. There's no specific reason I have to go outside, but I do plan on going outside today just to get some fresh air. I feel like, let's see, how long have I been in here? I haven't been out so I went to the grocery store is that the only place I went to yeah in the last like three four days the only place I went was out that one time to go to the grocery store other than that I've been in the house I mean I went on my porch I had to grab some Amazon packages and stuff like that but actually the past like weekish yeah for the last like five or six days, I have not gone out only to grocery shop. That is so horrible. So yes, I will be getting outside today, probably driving out, going to walk on the track, something, I'm not sure. And y'all, I have my first two envelopes here that I will be stuffing at the end of the week. The ones I pulled, $43 and $71. I am doing the envelope challenge this year. It's something I've always wanted to do. I talked about it in my last video for one of my goals, one of my financial goals. And here we are. We are doing it and I am so excited. So $71, $43 for the end of the week. So yeah. And I got these envelopes off of Amazon. Ooh, actually I think that's what I need to do. Y'all, I need to make an Amazon for a uh, Amazon storefront because a lot of the stuff that i be posting y'all be asking me about it and no matter if i like constant i'm constantly giving out i got it from here is this is this is this is this or if i put all the descriptions and stuff like in the caption there's always going to be someone like oh how, how do i find this what's this what's this what's this so i'm just going to make an amazon storefront that way i can just link everything that is associated with like the content and stuff that i post and hopefully that helps you guys out. Because trust me when I say I do not gatekeep. Nothing. Only thing I'm gatekeeping is my man. That's it. I don't gatekeep. So y'all just finished getting ready because I'm about to go to the gym. I think the gym is open. I was, um, I just had to run back upstairs to grab y'all because I almost left the house and forgot. But, um, I was sitting here and I was trying to figure out like what is there to do? What's open? Like what can I do? Where can I go? Is the mall open? And I ended up Googling the gym that I go to. And on the website, it says, 
holiday hours, New Year's, they're open until 11. Y'all, it is only, oh, it's only about to be six o'clock. So I'm about to go and hop in a car, drive over there and see if they're open, hopefully they are, fingers crossed, because I think that's what I need right now. I think that is what I need is, y'all, I'm so tired, I'm out of breath. I think that's what I need is to go to the gym, just some self-care, go to the gym, be around other people, just enjoy myself. So that's kind of what I want to do. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed that they are open and those hours reflected on Google are actually accurate. Y'all, tell me why Trey ended up, Trey ended up texting me after I put the camera down and he sent me a song, um, Twerk For Me. And I ended up making some videos because first of all, understand, understand. Don't let this calm, sweet, innocent demeanor, cause y'all be y'all be trying to say I'm so sweet and so fit. Listen, cause when it's time to throw this ass, it's getting thrown in a few different circles. A fucking octagon. What is it? Octagon. Whatever. Anyway, I made some videos and I sent it to him, and I was like, as you wish, because that's what I needed. Then I made some more videos and I sent it in a group chat to my sisters, and I'm like, <laughs> what I say? I said something like. Hey, you old ass bitches, look what my niece can still do. Where y'all at? Because I'm challenging them to twerk off in our group chat. So with that, let's go. Where you at? Autumn? Adrian? Aja? Because you always think you're coming for me, Aja. What's up? What you want to do? Angel? Hell, Anaya? What? What? Who want it? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just had to come up here and grab my camera. I'm kind of mad, though, because my freaking airpods is saying that my case is only at five percent so i'm trying to see because my the airpods are at a hundred percent the case is at five percent so do you guys think that the that the buds are going to last if i go for like an hour it's fine let me go ahead and go i have my backup um headphones my beats that never fail me so i should be fine and i'm going to take this water bottle with me all right Let's go to the gym, the first workout of 2024. And believe that your love makes me weak. Hi, my battle base. I just got back from the gym. It is 20.58 and it's kind of late. Just came back from the gym. Y'all, that was a great gym session. It was a really good gym session. I actually made it through my entire workout. I usually make it through my entire workout, but I'll go down like on the weights or I'll like skim off of, oh, I'm tired. I'll skim off of like my sets and stuff like that. And not today. I did the whole thing and I was super proud of myself for that so um yeah that's a win first workout of 2024 done i'm about to go ahead and hop in a shower real quick wash my face because i'm feeling i'm feeling a dried up sweat on my forehead right now <laughs> and um go and make me something to eat first i wanted to show off y'all look at my body like are we serious right now like I'm super happy. I still don't know how to flex. How do y'all flex? I can't show y'all. I can't show y'all my gains because I can't flex. <laughs> I was trying to flex my legs in the gym, y'all. I, I don't look. I'm, I'm not a muscle mommy, okay? But I just, I, I, I'm going to tone up. Um, but I will say I'm seeing my ass protrude just a little bit more, which I appreciate because that was, that's what I wanted. I wanted more like protrusion up here and I'm getting that. And it's a little more solid too. Like I'm actually feeling some muscle right there. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about these results and stuff that I'm getting, like my arms and stuff. Like, let's go. Consistency for this new year. Let's go. All right, my battle babies, I just got out of the shower and I just threw on some Spanx, a little crop top, and we about to go get some food. 
I'm gonna leave that light on. I'm about to come right back up here. But what I'm about to do now is I'm about to go downstairs, make me this salad that I just absolutely love that I've been eating and it's been doing great on my stomach great on my stomach i also wanted to mention a very big accomplishment of mine and that's the fact that in the last do i need more light yeah wait do i let me turn on this light over here in the last um three weeks every single day every single day and i know it probably sounds like an over exaggeration but it's not every single day i've been in a binge purge cycle every day and it's miserable it's horrible it's self like belittling basically it's horrible and today y'all today is the first day i was able to eat breakfast i ate a little something for lunch and I'm about to eat a little salad for dinner. And this is the first day in three weeks. I've made it through an entire day without throwing up my food. Without throwing up my food, I'm, I'm excited. Listen, if you're new here, this probably don't make sense to you, but just to get you caught up, I'm bulimic. I suffer from an eating disorder. And as of right now, I am very uncontrolled, very unstable, having all kind of hospital visits and stuff like that, but I'm working on it. I am healing. I am on a road to recovery, right? 2024 road to recovery, remember? But um, yeah, this is a very, very big step for me. This is, this is the perfect way to bring in the new year. I am so excited. This is the perfect start to the new year because I feel like if I was just trapped in a binge purge cycle all day, that probably would have put a damper on my week for the entire week because it's Monday. I probably would have been in, like in a slump feeling like complete shit about myself until like Saturday, but that didn't happen. I'm excited. So um, what I'm about to do, let me grab my stuff and show y'all what I eat for my salad. So... gather all my things y'all i need to clean I, I mean it's not dirty but i need to put this stuff in the dishwasher oh, i'm gonna set it right there for now oh my goodness it's about to be another late night i'm about to be up all night by choice though by choice because i want to enjoy and just think about the wonderful day that i've had today <laughs> oh wait my mirror and so all right I got this, this, I need a bowl. All right, so what I put in my salad, and this is one of the things that I've been eating as a recovering bulimic, and it's just been, it's been, it's been amazing. Yo, I forgot my seasoning. All right, so because this is dinner, I am about to make it just a little bit bigger. So what I use, I usually use a baby um, one, only one of these baby cucumbers. But again, because this is dinner, I'm going to be using two because I wanted something a little bit more. And um, this meal usually isn't super heavy on my stomach. So I'm telling you, it is just, it's perfect. Let me rinse these off. I use strawberries, six of them usually four when I'm working with the one cucumber, but because, should I use eight? I feel like that might be, we're gonna use eight. We're gonna use eight strawberries. These are kind of small. Yeah, eight should be fine. Eight strawberries, let me rinse those off. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to do these dishes. This is driving me absolutely insane right now. Um, okay. So those are the only things that I need to rinse off and let me put this away. Where are my paper towels? So, all right, so I got the cucumbers, I got the strawberries, and then I have these um, pineapple chunks that I'm also gonna cut up and put in there. And I usually use like three or four of those and I cut those up and I put that in there as well. For my seasonings, I use this mirin. So this here is just a sweet seasoning. And then the everything but the bagel. I use that as well. Can you see, why is this not focusing? Everything but the bagel. And this zesty Italian 
uh, salad dressing. So I'm gonna sit y'all right here. And yes, I'm cutting everything on the counter that I just cleaned because um, I don't want to wash a cutting board. So I cut my cucumbers first, cut the ends off. And then I just cut these in little slivers like this. These are really good by themselves. They're really good with, um, I like to use the vegetable garden, uh, what is it, the vegetable garden Philadelphia cream cheese with these sometimes. Kind of like a chip and dip type of situation. <laughs> so, and I'm looking at this right now, just making sure it's not gonna be too much. Mish is, is definitely not too much. So, Let's see. So that's what I have so far. And I'm thinking, um, I'm trying to see if I want to cut this whole thing. I'm only going to use half of this. Because I feel like that might be a little much if I use the whole thing. And I still got to put the other stuff in there. One of the things that is um crucial for me is not eating things that is too heavy and that's kind of the reason i switched to a raw diet so i eat a lot of raw vegetables i eat a lot of um raw fruit and stuff like that yes i'll cook and i'll make like steak and stuff because i love meat but my diet is predominantly stuff like this so now that that is um, cut up, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my strawberries. And I like to cut it in fours and then cut it down a half. That way I have these little strawberry chunks. So looking at the amount that is in there, ah, uh, y'all, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> um, okay, so now I'm I'm at a crossroads, right? Because I feel like that's enough strawberries, but I only use three. For whatever reason, my mind does not like odd numbers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this very small strawberry so I can even it out, or I'm telling you, it's going to make me itch. <laughs> All right, so now for, did I just cut myself? I better not have, did I? Oh my gosh, don't tell me. No, it didn't go deep enough, good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut a few of these pineapple pieces and see where that gets me. All right, so what I do next, I take the, um, the dressing and I pour a decent amount in there. This is the main part of like, oh shoot, I just made a mess. Oh, I just made a mess again. Hold on. Oh! So the, the, the salad dressing, that's like the main part of, I guess this, what turns it into a salad basically. Then I have the marin and I put just that much. I just eyeball everything, honestly. And then for the season on. Four. Four shakes and then I mix everything together. And this is what my fruit salad comes out looking like. Don't ask. And then some water. Oh shoot, I gotta put my pineapple away. Crazy, 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 crazy. Going crazy, 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 crazy. All right, so 
this. I'm just gonna go ahead and sit on the couch and watch Attack on Titans while I eat my food. Ew, this is gross. Why is this gross right now? Mm, it smells good though. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close this vlog out here. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Remember, I have that 10K goal by the end of the year that I am wanting to reach so badly and i'm going to be working so hard for your subscribe in order to meet that goal if you have any questions make sure you leave them down below make sure you like this video and follow me on my other socials especially instagram y'all i'll be partying over there on instagram and that's about it i'm gonna see y'all in the next one bye Oh